The opinions expressed are those of the show's host and not the staff or management of Port St. Lucie Broadcasters. Any reproduction without written consent of WSTU and WPSL is strictly prohibited. Now it's time for Quality of Life Radio, brought to you by Cigna and Aetna Medicare. Here are your hosts, Gary Owen and Tom Bouvier. Hello, good morning, everybody. This is Gary Owen, the host extraordinaire of the world-famous Quality of Life Radio Show, and with me is my co-host... Tom Bouvier. And we got a special guest uh, with us this morning. Yes, we do. Our show is sponsored by Aetna and Cigna Medicare. And by the way, we are streaming live on Facebook. So uh, once you get done driving, if you're on A1A, US1, I-95, uh, the Turnpike, and you get to your office, you get home, you can catch us on Facebook Live as well. Uh, and for those of you that are tuning in on WSTU 1450 and WPSL 1590, we want to say thank you and welcome. And to all of our clients and our loyal listeners, thank you very much for listening. Tom, every morning we are here in this dynamic studio with Ivan the Horrible. And why are we here every single week? <laughs> yes, sir. Gary, we come here every Tuesday morning, and we love it. We love our, what we do. We actually bring credible information, real information that people can use in their life. Number The second reason is we love to support and showcase local business people, and we'll having our lovely guests be introduced here in a moment. And lastly, Gary and I, we love uh, what we do. We love to educate and bring information about insurance planning and options that will help improve the people's quality of life and our listeners and so that's why we named the show quality of life radio show that's phenomenal we love quality of life we love sharing quality of life we help uh, our clients uh, to have the best quality of life so you can enjoy the stress-free life you deserve so the second part of our show we're going to talk about life insurance today so uh, did you know that uh, these following people have something in common joe robbie Princess Diana, Sonny Bono, Babe Ruth, Jimi Hendrix, Anna Nicole Smith, Elvis Presley, Howard Hughes, and Sammy Davis Jr. So we're going to share that with you on the second part of our show. Uh, we'll share our health fact, our fun health fact of the day, and what happened this day in history, January 25th. So without any further ado, let's start with our quote of the day, and then we are going to uh, welcome our special guest uh, to the microphone. So, quote of the day. When we strive to become better than we are, everything around us becomes better too. I like that. So, let's all become better, less stress, more healthy, so we can be uh, share that love, share less stress around us, so everyone around us becomes less stressful. We want them. And more healthy. A more better world. A more better world. We love it. World. Uh, mm -hmm. Especially on the Treasure Coast, where we live. There's nothing <laughs> better, no place better than the Treasure Coast. All right. Good morning, our special guest. Tom, why don't you uh, go ahead and do the honors? I would love to. I've known Tracy Voles for several years now and in a business relationship. And just as a person, she's a wonderful person, become really I consider her a friend. And so we have Tracy Voles from UniFirst um, on our as our guest this morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Good morning, Tracy. <laughs> so are you excited to be here? I know you cut the rain this morning, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I caught the thing that took my voice. So, oh my goodness. yeah, so I will uh, I will try to talk as well as loud as well as I can. But yes, I am excited to be here. This is fun. All right, right. Listen, you haven't even seen anything yet. <laughs> you wait till 10:59 a.m. People are like, "Where the heck did the time go? It was so right. fast. It was so fun." So, Tracy, you're a senior sales rep with UniFirst. Tell before we get into UniFirst. Okay. Tell us a little bit about you, where you're from, what you do, what you like to do, all that fun stuff. Ah, uh, Tracy Voles. Good morning, everybody. Um, I am originally from Wisconsin, Manitowoc, Wisconsin, if you can tell by the Manitowoc. And, uh, you're a cheesehead. I am a wicked cheesehead, as noted by uh -huh. my Green Bay Packers. I was Bay very Packer. disappointed in that game. Oh, so was I. Um, what the heck, man? So was I. But you know what? We all can't be winners all the time, so yeah, we're still going to support them. But uh, moved to Stewart in uh, 1987. So I went to Martin County High School. So I graduated from Martin County, and I will omit the year. But if anybody knows me, they know how old I am. So there you go. But yeah, I've been a member of the Treasure Coast for a very long time. 
lived here, worked here. My folks are still here and uh, my family's here. And even though I moved to Nashville and University of Georgia and Chicago and Denver, I always knew that Stewart was going to be my home and it is. So it's been great. I've been back since uh, fall of 11 and it's been lovely to be a member of the community now as not a teenager but as a uh, adult so it's even better now than it was then so i'll tell you you got i beat you a year here in florida because i moved in 1986 when i was like three seconds old (laughs) (laughs) yeah i believe that pinocchio (laughs) how many pinocchios Uh, do you see today uh let's see you mentioned tennessee colorado and some other states what was your Mm -hmm. favorite state Outside of Florida. We know Florida is, is why you're here. but Well, obviously, Florida is my favorite because this is where I am. Right. Um, honestly, I really love... That's a tough question because each one of them had something special to them. So tell me where in Tennessee were you again? Uh, I Nashville? In, I was in Nashville. Okay, yeah. Colorado. What part of Colorado? Denver. Denver, all right. Mm-hmm. And where else? What other state? Chicago, Ch- Illinois. Oh, <laughs> Chicago. Yeah. I was there 10 years. I Downtown. love Chicago. Downtown. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Chicago. downtown. Yeah. That's this was this is better. a few years ago. It was a lot. It was a lot easier, shall yeah. we mm-hmm. say? Tom loved the winters there in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, why you got the big muscles today, Tom. That's you know, right. all that's those it. years of shoveling hey. snow and ice. That's why yeah, they call sh- Chicago the the. the City of big shoulders. Yep. Yeah, that's one of their uh, phrases. Because you got to sho- shovel the snow so much. You know, th- that's what's great about these United States, isn't it? Because each state has its own unique areas and, and the topography and, and the uniqueness. Of, like Chicago, I mean, and mm-hmm. the food in Chicago and the lights and the city and the noise. And Denver, Colorado, oh, my gosh, what a great. Denver's amazing. Oh, Denver's, my gosh. You know what? And it's not just Denver. It's everything because you can. Mm-hmm. And this was my favorite day is to get up at, oh, oh dark 30 at about 5.15 a.m., be in my car at 5.30, drive up the hill to the mountains, go skiing hard from 8 a.m. to about 11.30 a.m., get back in my car, drive back down to Denver, and then play a round of golf. Now that is a good day. Oh, that was a tough life you lived yeah, in Yeah, I know. It was, it was called Saturday. Wow. <laughs> it was called Saturday. Very nice. Uh, any no. day that ends in a Y, I'm skiing. Any day that ends in a Y. <laughs> no, it was, it, there's, there's so many cool things to do, and it's just, you know, Denver's an amazing city. But, of course, also, you know, not to be unsaid, but Wisconsin, my home state, mm-hmm. I go back every summer. Um, you know, it's just, it's beautiful. The people are so it, down to earth, and there is nothing right. like – a fresh squeaky cheese curd and if you're from Wisconsin you know how great that is and brandy old fashion and perch fish fry on Friday night that's just a thing I tell you I loved uh, Green Bay when I was there one time uh, did not enjoy the cold but no uh, it was it was a great the people are phenomenal though. they are they're they're real people they're and the stadium the is oh, is, a, is monumental it is. I, mean, I had went in the restaurant there and saw the big statue you know the big yep. uh, like a three-story uh, trophy that you know, that yeah. they give out for the Super Bowl winners. Yeah. It's, it's just a wonderful place. It it's is cool. Beautiful. I've I've been in that stadium many times as a little kid in my snowmobile suit, sitting on newspaper on the benches, <laughs> waiting to go home. Because of course, as a kid, you don't appreciate what yes. it is. But <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a magical place. Yeah, it surely is. All right, so uh, that's wonderful. Now, tell us a little bit about Uni. First, uh, are, are they just a local little company here that you're working with here in Stewart? Oh, no. No, no. Uh, Universe Corporation is is an amazing company, first and foremost. It is, oh, gosh, I'm going to get this wrong, 39 years old, 40 years old? Please don't fire me. Um, <laughs> but, no, we were founded, uh, we're a nationwide company founded many, many years ago by Aldo Karate, and he started it with just a laundromat in a garage, and that's mm. literally how it started. And now, Unifirst, again, nationwide, but we are the largest uniform supplier east of the Mississippi. Um, wow. We do, uh, uniforms are our primary um, uh, item that we focus on and sell, but we also work with everything from facility services to janitorial supplies, cleaning services, and things like that. I think the um, what's cool about being here today with you guys and the, the name of your show, Quality of Life, it's exactly what we provide at Unifirst. And that we, you know, with our uniforms, we boost morale 
because we provide a nice clean pressed uniform that you don't have to think about what are you going to wear every day. You're just going to go in and you're going to wear your amazing uniform. And then when you're done, you don't have to take it home and worry about washing off the grease from your shop or worrying about what splatter got on your uniform while at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. You take it off, you put it in the bin at work, you take your own clothes home. You're not mixing your work environment with your home environment that's nice it's amazing and you know for less than a cup of coffee a day this too can be yours i sound wow. like my own information um <laughs> but no cool. i mean we we universe is so cool because not only is it just you know you say uniforms are like oh yeah so what well uniforms do a whole lot and again this goes back to your quality of life i mean we boost morale we provide and meet safety regulations for every industry um, we provide comfort. You know, there's something nice to be said about just going home, just going to work every day and just being comfortable in your environment, in the clothes that you're wearing and being proud of that image that you're wearing and the branding that you're setting forth. So, I mean, there's a lot that is to be said about uniforms that is not just, oh, geez, uniforms. Well, that's going to be a fun convo. <laughs> but no, I mean, it, it really is kind of cool. And, you know, I've been there now for over a year, and I can't tell you, the people are amazing. The corporation is amazing. Um, my team is probably one of the best teams I've had. And they are, they're fun. We joke around a lot, just like y'all do here. But we have a really, really good time at the office. Um, my delivery guys, they're so cool. You'll see the Universe trucks driving around town. Now that's one oh, of those I things where yeah. when you mention it, now you're going to see it kind yeah. of a thing. No, I, I do yeah, see them. Exactly. So, um, but we're here and that's just kind of the deal. But So uh, do you cater to smaller businesses, larger businesses? I mean, where is your sweet spot? All the above. Oh, so if you had a two-person business, you'd even support that? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So, so I'll be calling you later. You fantastic. Well, <laughs> so, I, you know, why are you, why are yeah. you talking about uniforms? I had an epiphany, Tom, yeah. that, uh, you know, so I, I like the idea of leaving our uniforms in the office and we can go home. Do, do we go home naked or, I mean, how does that work? No, you, you, in you, the... you hopefully come to work dressed right? in your own stuff. Oh, ah. that's how it works. Okay. So you yes. can come, you can come to work in your shorty shorts yeah. and then go home <laughs> and put your uniform on. So what I'm, what I'm thinking, Tom... Is we could probably have these orange jumpsuits, Jump you know, shoot. with our names on it, <laughs> our logo. Uh, well, actually, you know, superheroes, <laughs> insurance superheroes. With a cape, you know, yes, I mean, absolutely. Uh, we all should no wear capes. capes. No capes. <laughs> no capes. Well, we're superheroes <laughs> well, to our clients. And, and you know, to say about uniforms, I, I think so many movies I've seen, and even people I know, they say, "Well, I joined the Marines because they have a cool uniform. I'm not going with that's, the." That's right. I'm yeah. Sorry, people, for Air Force, or well, or vice versa. They say, "I'm joining the Air Force because of that." You how many young boys and girls joined a, a company or a, a football team if they had a choice or or the military because of the uniform yep. uniforms right. are powerful they, exactly they, anyway. and again it makes you feel proud it, it boosts morale and now here's another thing too one of the cool benefits we all know it's so hard to keep people these days this is a really trying employee market and to keep our employees happy and to keep them safe and to, to keep them from jumping ship one of the benefits you can give them is if you give them a laundered uh, uniform service every single day so they no longer have to worry about on their weekends doing laundry getting mm. back to work getting there in time making sure the shirts pressed making sure it's done it's done for them that not only helps as a business owner because you're giving the right branding and the right image to all of your clients that these people are going to go see but it's a super cool benefit to the employee. And it's like, look, we're going to go ahead and just do this for you. And we're going to pay for it because we appreciate you as Absolutely. an employee. Absolutely. That is something. Absolutely. I love it. So, Tom, you don't like the idea of, of the jumpsuit or maybe a black and gold like the Steelers? <laughs> well, the or if I can get one uniform. that looks like Elvis. <laughs> one I flip on my back and... Well, I, we could be a walking, I, I talking know. commercial, you know, with our with our <laughs> uniform. <laughs> yes, yeah. we could. Or you the, already or are. the walking, talking. Exactly. Look at us. Or the All laughing stock. All three of stock. us are already branded. These <laughs> yes. are uniforms. Oh, we, uh, can you? Uh, am I live on the? You got me. <laughs> on my, got me lined up here. Look. So for those, can you see my? Uh, yes. My logo. Look at yep. that. So this is what. This is how we roll, right? So uh, branding yeah, is everything. Black and white. I mean, yeah. And having that uniform and the branding is, is really everything. So uh, for those of you that don't see me live in the studio, well, you know, all you got to do is turn the radio off and put your phone on to Facebook and go to Quality of Life Radio Show, and you can catch us live in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> We're not excited. I've only had two cups of coffee. <laughs> How many coffees have you had? Because I need to catch up. 
All right, so while we are going through our first uh, lovely break of the day, we're going to hear my commercials and some other commercials. <laughs> and in case you're just tuning in, you are listening live to the Quality of Life Radio Show on WSTU 1450 AM and WPSL 1590. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. agency located right here on the Treasure Coast. I've been a resident here for 34 years and have helped thousands of clients with their insurance planning needs. We specialize in life, health, and Medicare insurance planning. Don't travel the road alone. Let us be your guide. We are the Owen Insurance Group. Contact us today at 772-210-1020 or visit our website at oweninsurancegroup.net. You are listening to WSTU, Stewart. Jensen Beach, Hope Sound, Martin County's Heritage Station. Welcome back to the Quality of Life Radio Show, the world's finest and greatest radio show. And uh, if you're not listening and tuning in, you are absolutely missing out. So for those of you that are watching and listening, make sure you refer us to your friends, your family, your neighbors, and let them know that this is the best radio show. You get to see different guests every week uh, and hear from them. And you get to hear about diverse topics, Tom, about insurance. Absolutely. It's, it's boring as heck, but we make it fun. <laughs> Absolutely. We don't just PFA, that means pluck from the air, <laughs> false information. We like have that. stats, statistics, proven information that will help improve your quality of life. Yeah, look, I could have said any better, man. That's awesome. I love it. Uh, all right, Tracy, uh, we've got a few minutes left, and I had some questions about, you know, for our listening audience, there's a mm -hmm. lot of business owners out there. Maybe yeah. a group of two versus a group of 20 or 200 uh, employees. How does the pricing, I mean, do you quote or do you go out yourself and you contact uh, the business owners or how does that work? Um, I do a lot of hoofing, that's for certain. Um, however, these we, boots are made these, for a walk. -in. These boots are <laughs> definitely made for walking. Um, Universe is a little bit different than I think the other corporations that are in my industry in that we don't quote a straight price and I won't do that all day long because we sell on service and what's right for each business. We don't overprice one versus the other. If it's two people, that's going to be the same as if it's 200 people, if they're buying the same product. And that's where we get into the difference of why Universe stands out. It's what we call the Universe difference. So first and foremost, we have uh, customers for life. And my office, which my home office is here where we service the entire Treasure Coast. It's in Fort Pierce, North Kings Highway. And our customer service rating is 98%, which is pretty darn good. That's from, very great. From where I sit, at least. So that tells me that we're selling the right products to the right people. We're not overselling. We're not overcharging. Our service is delivering on time. Our service guys are there. They're prompt. If there's an issue, they fix it. And we make it easy for you. It's not supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be simple. And this is, you know, what we try to accomplish. So depending on what your needs are, it could be as little as, you know, $35 a week, or it could be ex as expensive as, I don't know, a thousand, two thousand dollars a week. Depending on how many employees you have. Depending on how many employees sure. you have. Um, one of my colleagues just set up the um, Speedway in Sebring with all of their facility service products. And so what that means is 
bathroom paper, hand towels, dispensers, sanitizers, soaps, dryers, mats, all that fun stuff that's everywhere that you don't think about, but you just know is there that you need all of those products. So we just outfitted the entire Speedway. And the owners of the Speedway are saying, you know what, you guys did a great job. We are super happy. We've never seen the kind of service that you gave us from any of the other companies we've worked with. And that's really amazing. That's a really outstanding. The, the, the best recommendation is one from somebody else. I have a question. So let's say there's a business owner or two or three or mm -hmm. 10 people out there and they do not have uniforms yet. Yep. Do you have a design team that'll come in and help them question. create oh, yeah. their uniforms? We can help them create a logo for yes, their business. That's what I meant. Um, Thank you. We do, we do emblems. We do direct embroidery. We do some screen printing. Um, pretty much depending on what the needs are. Uh, I've got a client currently that I'm actually doing direct embroidery, an emblem, and a screen print, and uh, logo mats as well. So, you know, we kind of do a little bit of everything. You we, just answered my question, good. Yeah, we help restaurants. Restaurants are probably one of our, our biggest um, section, sectors of the facility service market. If you think of the kitchen, they have their wet mats, they have their chef aprons, they have their towels, they have all of the supplies they need. Disposable gloves, especially now with oh, that horror. The C word. The C word. I was just going <laughs> to say the C word. That C word that doesn't seem to go away. I have sold more disposable gloves in this last year than I, ever. I mean, it's just crazy. And we have them in spades. That's also the thing to know. Our supply chain for that is intact, which is really, really good. Um, so there's more than just uniforms. And a lot of corporations, they will not do uniforms, period. They won't do a shirt with a logo, anything. And that's perfectly fine. I respect that. A lot of my clients and customers are strictly facility service janitorial services. They only need the bathrooms. They only need the floor mats. They only need the hand towels. They only need the soaps and the sanitizers. Um, that kind I'm of thinking. stuff. thinking. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's it doesn't have to be both, and it can be one or the other or a combination of the two. So each business is very specific. That's why we never quote price, because mm -hmm. I don't know what you need. Tracy, um, how are you not, like, going crazy with business? There I'm are so many business owners that need your service. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm pretty busy. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm, I'm pretty busy. I have usually probably about two to three actual appointments a day, and there's five days a week, and that's it's a lot going on, but I love this pace. Well, I'm better at this pace. Yeah, so am I. Before uh, we give her dynamic phone number out that's going to ring off the hook as soon as she gives it out, but uh, <laughs> one thing, I, you just brought up a, a logo doormat. Wouldn't that look awesome in yes. front of Owen Insurance Group's double yes. doors? Mm -hmm. So why don't you give me a quote on that? I, w I want you to come by. When, you get it, when you're not so busy, uh, come by and say hi to us and give us a quote on a doormat for Owen Insurance Group. That would be awesome. Absolutely. We don't have a urinal, so we don't have to get one of the little triangle things. <laughs> but we use <laughs> a lot of uh, paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have Owen Insurance Group toilet paper? Because I used to think, why would I have my business name on, you know, I've seen some of yeah. the business names on the urinal and everybody like, she, you know, we doing should, their thing all over the. We should have Owen. <laughs> insurance group logoed on our rolls of toilet paper right? Wait, that, yeah we've yeah, got eight employees in the office now it's getting busy <laughs> man we're, we're gonna draw the line there <laughs> <laughs> couldn't that be How a new product royal? and i get a little um, royalty i'm pretty fee? sure every time i say the word logo my my gm is rolling over right now but that's okay <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tracy, uh, you've been awesome and fun. Tell us how to get a hold of you and uh, where can people go to to get more information about uni first? Uh, three different things. Number one, my phone number is area code 772-631-1858. You can email me at Tracy, T-R-A-C-Y, underscore, Vols, that's V as in Victor, O-L, Z as Zebra, at unifirst, U-N-I-first, dot com. Or you can also go to unifirst.com website and check out a lot more of the products and the items that we have there and figure out what it is you'd be looking for that I could then help you with. Love it. Uh, one final, th uh, we're going to be bringing you back. We've got some uh, other things to, to bring you in. To quiz uh, you yeah. on. We oh, want to, we want to see, stump you know, check you. your knowledge and stump the chumps. <laughs> uh, but, uh, any final thought, any words of wisdom for our uh, listening audience? Maybe you're a small business owner. What would you advise? Uh, what would be your best advice? My best advice would be to say, call anyway. 
uh, nine times out of 10, everybody says, oh, we can't afford that. It's too expensive. And then once we go through the discovering process and figuring out exactly what their needs mm -hmm. are, and then I put together a proposal, they look at it and go, oh, that's it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. So I would say it's not one of those elite services that you don't think you can afford or you shouldn't afford because you're not that guy. That's not it at all. This is a service to help you run your business so you can actually run your business. I love it. Yeah. Uh, I have one more personal question and then we're going to move on. <laughs> don't you do it, Gary. Uh, what is the <laughs> one that thing that you are most passionate about in life? Oh, Wow. Probably my favorite thing and most passionate. Everybody's going to say family, which is always true. So if, oh, we, if we take the that's easy, a giving, yeah. if we take the easy answer off of the board, course. I would say reading. Reading that is fantastic. Which genre, if you don't mind me asking? Yes. You do mind me asking? All of them. No, all of them. All okay. of them. Yes, all of them. I I'm in two different book clubs. I read voraciously, and uh, I'm actually my a girlfriend of mine is living overseas right now, and her son is being homeschooled. And in his fifth grade homeschool, they're doing Uncle Tom's Cabin. I've never read it. So I'm actually got that on my Audible. And I've got another book that I read at home. So I kind of double dipping. So I'll read everything from thrillers to spy novels to historical American fiction to spy novels to whatever. So in other words, uh, while we're live on a radio show, uh, she's listening to audiobooks and not us. <laughs> Usually, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, she's honest. I'll give her yeah. that. She's honest. Okay. So uh, uh, we'll be back uh, with you in just a second. So for those of you that are new watching us, uh, Tom and I, we uh, slave every single day for our clients uh, at Owen Insurance Group. And Owen Insurance Group, uh, we've been here. I have personally been here on the Treasure Coast now for 36 years, as I said. Uh, I came to Florida when I was three seconds old. Uh, and uh, love, love Florida, uh, like Tracy and Tom. Uh, but, uh, you know, our passion, uh, well, I'll, I'll speak to my passion, Tom, and then we'll find out what mm -hmm. your passion is. But I think I know what your passion is. Uh, has something to do with the word M in it and ends with a C. M C. Starts mm. with an M, ends with a C. And it causes you to be deaf. <coughs> Oh, uh, music. Is that, is that your passion? Music. I'm, I'm I love music. I'm kind of guessing that might be your Yes, I usually have a song rolling least... in my head, you know, so if you see me in a far and you got to get my attention, you just say, what song are you listening to? Tom's Tom? always uh, playing the yeah, air I guitar. Music. Yeah. yeah. So in the office, we can see Tom in the air guitar. Somehow there's it's some power in music, for sure. Yeah, and uh, our passion at Owen and so I think you have a passion, a personal passion, and you have a mm -hmm. business passion. And sure. for us, clients... To simplify insurance planning, there is a lot of misleading information out there. A lot of bad actors, like there is in every industry. Uh, but Tom and I, we believe in always uh, doing what's right 100,000 percent of the time. Uh, and I can tell you that whatever we do, we go to bed at night and we can look ourselves in the mirror and rest knowing that we've always done the right thing for our clients. Uh, we do it because we have families, we have parents, we have siblings. Uh, that need help. And we treat our clients like family because our clients are our family. So I think that's important. So, Tom, let's talk about health facts. The, the strong, and by the way, we, I guess we better give our number because people keep complaining to me that we don't give our number out often enough. So, Three, well, what five, is our number? Seven, <laughs> three, five. No, no, that's not no. the right that's number. Not oh, it. He, uh, he's, he's changing it up a that little was, bit. Yeah, he's yeah. I wanted to see bit. if you all knew. <laughs> okay. 772. Seven, Two one zero one zero two zero or seven seven two two ten ten twenty. It gets you to the same person. <laughs> I like seven oh, seven two two group. ten ten twenty. Yeah. So if you need insurance, you've got an insurance question, anything related to life insurance, health insurance, Medicare, we do it a disability group insurance. Are you talking about doing businesses? Uh, we also uh, work with groups uh, and companies. If you have a group of uh, four or more employees. Uh, we can assist you with group insurance, quoting, and uh, voluntary benefits and things of that nature. Uh, and as I said at the beginning of the show, we're going to share some very interesting information. And uh, first, before we get there, though, let's talk about uh, health facts. Tracy. Yes, sir. What is the strongest muscle in your body? Your brain. Eh. Tom, 
What's the strongest muscle in your body? Thigh. Thigh. All right. Well, our muscle strength can be measured in different ways. Uh, if you're referring to the muscle that can exert the most force, that would be your calf muscle. Mm, that would be the interesting. winner. Interesting. Yeah. More However, the thigh. if you want to find the muscle that can exert the most pressure, Tracy, <laughs> then the jaw muscle where the masseter would be the strongest. The human jaw can close teeth with a force as great as 200 pounds or 890 newtons, whatever the heck newtons are. Mm. Uh, newtons. Fig newtons. Fig newtons. You know, I, I can see crush delicious. Them. Usually. With coffee. Oh, God. I don't need any more coffee. <laughs> uh, cappuccino, please. <laughs> All right. So this day in history, January 25th. Can you believe we're almost done with January 2022. It is absolutely insane. Fly One by. twelfth of the way through <sighs> Believable. 2022. So, being a Scotch aficionado and a Scotch poetry lover, in 1759, Tracy, Scottish poet Robbie Burns is born. And so, this Saturday, uh, the group of our, uh, us guys and, and some girls, too, who like Scotch, uh, we do our annual Robbie Burns night. We have six... Uh, <laughs> s- cask strength single malt whiskeys that we're going to share. We're going to have a bagpiper. Uh, we're going to have some food and a fire on the beach. Uh, it is going to be a blast. We I've seen videos everything. of past Robbie Byrne nights. And I'll be wearing me kilt. Me kilt. <laughs> so hopefully it ain't uh, too windy and too cold. 1776, the first National Memorial is ordered by Congress. In 1924, the first Winter Olympics. Uh, was held in the French uh, Alps. In 1961, Tracy, which president held the first live TV news conference? Oh. I know that. He got shot. Oh, Kennedy. Yes, President Kennedy. (laughs) And then 1971, the most disgusting man alive, probably one of the most disgusting and heinous Met alive, mm. and his followers mm. were convicted of murder. Who was that? Manson. Manson. Yes, Charles Manson. Now that one I knew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, well, I think you know more. Reader, you, just, you probably know. read the book. <laughs> You're just being humble. In 1980, yeah, who was Jeffrey. released? What famous singer was released in 1980 from a Tokyo jail and deported from Japan? <laughs> Keith Richards. Nope. <laughs> mm, Paul McCartney. <laughs> oh, Paul McCartney. Bring in a little little doobies. Yeah, yes, yeah. Little, little Paul doobie McCartney uh, got his little hand smacked yeah. and uh, <laughs> enjoyed some time in a to- Tokyo jail in 1980. All right, uh, Tom. We're going to talk about. We got about two minutes before we go on on our next break, but uh, I, I I think it's important that we have a discussion about life insurance. So many people uh, don't get it. They don't understand it. And there are some statistics I want to share with you. We're going to talk about the six ways to use life insurance. Uh, we're going to talk about some quotes on what's it going to cost about life insurance. Uh, but, but before uh, we go there, we talked at the beginning of the show. Uh, I asked, did you know that these certain people, Joe Robbie, P- Princess Diana, Sonny Bono, Babe Ruth, Jimi Hendrix, Anna Nicole Smith, Elvis Presley, Howard Hughes, and Sammy Davis Jr. all have something in common? related to life insurance, and each and every single one of them died uh, either without sufficient life insurance or enough life insurance uh, to, to settle their estate tax issues. Hmm. It's like Joe Robbie, he was 72. He died in January of 1990. Uh, we all know Joe Robbie, Robbie Stadium in Miami. Uh, he had a $47 million estate tax for which he did not plan for. Uh, so anyway... Uh, that caused a lot of problems uh, for him and, and for his family. Princess Diana died in a car crash in 1997 at the age of 36. Unfortunately, she had no will. And Sonny Bono, we all remember Sonny Bono uh, in a skiing accident. Hit a tree. Died, yeah, Crazy. the tree popped out in front of him, unfortunately, in 1998. Uh, died at the age of 62 in uh, Lake Tahoe, California, actually, is where that happened. And he had left no will, and there was absolutely no estate planning uh, with, with him. People don't expect to die. Hey, it's not going to happen to me. How many times have we heard this, right? I mean, I've got plenty of time to figure all this stuff out. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't happen that way. Uh, Babe Ruth, uh, there's another one. He died at 53 without uh, a will and estate planning. Jimi Hendrix at age 27. 
Uh, we all remember uh, Leona Helmsley, uh, same thing with her. Michael Jackson, uh, same thing with him. Uh, let, let, let's see here. And then Nicole Smith uh, died at 39 and died in, what, 2007 in Hollywood, Florida. And Elvis Presley died at, uh, well, I think he was 42 when he died in 1977 and had a $10 million estate tax. So um, it, it's interesting that people uh, of notoriety don't do proper planning. And so uh, it can happen to all of us. So when we come back from our break, Tom, uh, we're going to get more. We're going to dive deep into life insurance, uh, the myths of life insurance, and the, the wonders of life insurance. You're listening to the Quality of Life Radio Show on WSTU 1450 AM and WPSL 1590 AM and Quality of Life Radio Show live on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in. Hang tight. We'll be right back. insurance agency located right here on the treasure coast i've been a resident here for 34 years and have helped thousands of clients with their insurance planning needs we specialize in life health and medicare insurance planning don't travel the road alone let us be your guide we are the owen insurance group contact us today at 772-210-1020 or visit our website at oweninsurancegroup.net you are listening to wstu Stewart, Jupiter, and Indian Town, Martin County's Heritage Station. Welcome back to the Quality of Life Radio Show. Lucky you, you're listening to the world's greatest, most fun, exciting <laughs> uh, radio show with two dynamic hosts, uh, Gary Owen and Tom the Boov, Bouvier. So, Tom, we had a, a wonderful dinner last night together to celebrate one of a great achievement uh, with our agency. And uh, we are, I'm happy to say and happy to report uh, some success. So thank God that we became the top 10 in the country for Medicare supplement with a, with a typical, ins- with one of our unique insurance carriers for Medicare supplement. So uh, we're excited to, to celebrate that. And congratulations to you, Gary. You're leading the charge, leading the Owen Insurance Group. Uh, coming from the corporate world, many yes. people would thought, oh, you don't know what it's like in the real world, <laughs> and they're ch- all that chatter. You're not going to be able to do it. Oh, yeah. But you did it in four years, Yep. And which is quite a feat. So congratulations Thank you. to you, and I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate and blessed to be working with you. So the, the naysayers, you know, all the naysayers, if I would listen to the naysayers, I probably would be nowhere today. You're so. living in a van down in by the, the van, river. Or <laughs> right. in, in, in eating out of a pan. <laughs> <laughs> Next to my friend Dan. <laughs> Chris Farley. Yeah, yeah. yeah Chris living Farley. in a van yeah. down by the river. <laughs> all right, we're going to yeah. – uh, we're going to – Bring this back in a little bit. And Sorry. We're talking about life insurance. Uh, those of you that are watching and those that are listening, how many of you have life insurance? So the statistics are pretty grim, uh, unfortunately, that 52% of Americans in the United States have some type of life insurance, whether it's individual life insurance or group life insurance. But the problem is 50% of those people that have life insurance don't have enough and that's a shame uh i'm going to share a story in a little bit uh a a personal experience that i had with a friend a client of mine for life insurance but uh, let me finish these statistics and then tom we're going to go and talk about some pricing because people think that you know it's too Too cost prohibitive right i can't afford it no so therefore i'm not even going to call or talk to anyone about it i'm just going to keep my head in the sand and uh continue to uh I hope I don't die. Look. Yeah, well, listen. 
again, nobody thinks about dying. I mean, you, you go down Highway 95, right, and you see these car accidents. Did that person get in that car, drive to work that morning, and think that they were going to be in a car accident nope. and die? No. Mm -hmm. And did the family, now what's the family going to do? I mean, their family's going to reap, uh, they have enough to deal with. Uh, and, and, the, the, and the pain and the suffering that they have to deal with on a personal level, uh, not to mention the financial level, and that's what a life insurance can do. But... Uh, there are currently 837 life insurance carriers in the United States today. Uh, and we just talked about this. More than half of Americans think that life insurance is more expensive than it really is. 75%. Listen to this. Stop what you're doing and listen to this. 75% of all households would have trouble covering everyday living expenses if the primary wage earner died. Hmm. 75%. That's like going down the street counting one, two, three, four. Those three are not covered. Correct. One, two, three, four. Correct. That's, it's that's, horrible. That's amazing. It's horrible. When a woman outlives her husband, her income decreases by 50%. On average, yet expenses only decrease by 20%. And then the last statistic is roughly 80% of widows living in poverty were not poor when their husbands mm. were alive. 80% of widows. So uh, I say that, I give those statistics uh, to waken you up and to let you know that it is imperative, it is important that you have a discussion with your, with your spouse uh, and with a financial planner who can help you get you in the place that you need. Get a, if, you don't have, if you haven't done your estate planning and you don't have a will, you need to get that done. It's absolutely important. Uh, but the very first thing, the foundation of financial success is having a life insurance policy. So real quick, Tom, uh, we put together some pricing on life insurance, some quotes, and it's only based on standard health, right? So we're not talking about it could be standard plus or preferred or preferred plus. This is like the, the bottom. The middle of the road. So, uh, yes. Go so, ahead. So, yeah, so some of these quotes, um, actually two of them, two out of the four uh, quotes are actual cl clients of mine who have this particular policy. And um, a 30-year-old male, non-smoker, and as Gary said, standard health. That means if they go through underwriting, they're proved to be uh, in better health than the standard rating. They would have these premiums would be considered high, so they would be offered a policy for a less than thirty-five dollars and seventy-nine cents a month, five hundred thousand dollar policy for thirty-five bucks. Wow. That's less than uh, pennies a, on the dollar. Pennies on the dollar, about a dollar a day. And again, if they got if they're very healthy, that could go down to you know thirty twenty-five dollars. That's a 20-year term, so for 20 years till they're age 50. Now, uh, for a million dollars, that's $63 per month. Now, if they wanted to extend it out from 30 to 60, so they figure, I'm in a growing business, boy, I'm going to be retired by 60, have a lot of cash in the bank, 30 years is $61. It could be if they rated higher, they could be down to $50 or so. Uh, One million, $113. So in the growing years is when you really want to cover it. You know, so a million dollars would pay off any debt, pay off a house, have have a spouse and a children set for the rest of their life. That's at th age 30. Age 45, so 15 years later, 500000 is $88. So don't wait. Don't wait. It's going to cost you <laughs> more money, man. It sure will. Uh, 250000 so maybe you don't need as much or don't think you can afford as much. It's still $48. And then a million dollars is... Uh, one hundred and sixty-three dollars. So, th th it's almost twice as much if by waiting fifteen years. Sure. So, in your in your thirties, don't wait. Okay. And I do want to show, uh, uh, let people know about one product. It's a, a term life insurance uh, with a return of premium. Some people say, I don't want to pay insurance. I got the money, but I don't want to because if I don't die, I just threw my money down the drain. Well, there is a plan. You would pay approximately 50, 60 percent or maybe 80 percent more, depending on the policy, per month. But it's called a return of premium. So for 
uh, a 47 year old individual. Now, this again is not the 30 year old, but a 47 year old for 20 years till they're 67 years old. If they do not die, they can get a a uh, uh, $500,000 policy for $446. And you say, wow, that's a lot of money. But if you have the money and you're protecting yourself and you don't die, you get all of that money back at age 67, tax-free, of course. That's pretty good. Yeah. And the last quote that we have, uh, again, this is a quote that I've recently, um, with an individual I'm working with, they just wanted 10 years. So they're, they're almost 60 years old, 59, turning 60 soon. I just need 10 years to cover me for my last 10 years of work or for whatever reason they, they want. A $250,000 policy for a 60-year-old a female non-smoker is only $72 a month. I mean, that's chump change, about $2 awesome. a month. And if, and if they're in great health, that's probably going to be down to $60, $65. Or less even. Or so. less, yeah. Exactly. That's great. So, again, I mean, the younger you are, as Tom had already mentioned, uh, then the more affordable that life insurance is. And, and quite frankly, uh, I don't think you can be too young to buy life insurance. I think it's important to have it. Uh, we're going to talk about, real quick, uh, the six ways to use life insurance. And then kind of, I think the question may be on everybody's mind, how much life insurance should you have, right? So we'll kind of cover that as well. So number one, uh, life insurance provides money to help People that you love when you leave this planet Earth. I mean, what happens? It's, think about it. At this second right now, God forbid, if you weren't. One, I'm going to share a quick little story. Uh, several years ago, I, I was at a, a family's home talking to the husband and wife, and there were children playing in the, in, 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 in the playroom. And it's always the husband that doesn't think that we need life insurance, that they need life insurance. The wife is on board, and more times than not, it's always the male part that says no nah, no we're not ready for that yet we don't need it i'm not gonna die oh my god I just want to slap people like that <laughs> upside the head uh and then so i said i tell you what let me take you outside stand in front of the window i want your wife to sit at the table stay where she's at come outside with me and look in the window and see mm. tell me what you see he's like what are you talking about what do you see sitting at the table i said my wife sitting alone at the table what do you see those two little rugrats over there doing? They're playing. And where are you at? I'm gone. Now think about that for a second. If you were gone, now you're gone permanently, and you've done nothing to prepare your family. I mean, what, that's horrible. So my advice to you is that while you are still breathing and while you are still living, take the opportunity, take the time to pick up the phone, call Owen Insurance Group at 772-210-1020, and get a quote. It doesn't cost you a dime to find out what we can do for you. And there's even no obligation by submitting the application. Correct. You go through the application. You go through the underwriting. They bring back an offer. And you can say yes or no. And it's as simple as that. Absolutely. So six ways to use life insurance. We talk about providing money to help people that you love. I mean, most people have debts. They, I mean, they have a mortgage. They have cars. And uh, maybe... Uh, the, the children's career, college expenses. Uh, number two is to leave a legacy. I mean, think about the money that you want to leave behind for the people that you love or the causes that you're passionate about. Uh, that's important. A life insurance policy can pay any taxes that may be due on your estate. Uh, and typically, beneficiaries will not have to pay any taxes on that life insurance. Number three is to create another source of income. Yes, for retirement. So, I mean, we know that it's great to uh, have your money in different buckets uh, in, in the stock market and maybe mutual funds, but life insurance, a permanent policy can help you and protect that money. It's not going to be like the stock market where you have the potential risk of losing uh, all your money or part of your money. Uh, life insurance with a permanent policy will continue to grow and to build cash value. And, of course, there's tax advantages for that. Uh, number four is to have access to money in case you get sick. So in addition to permanent life insurance policies, there are policies that have living benefits. So even a term policy, a permanent policy, a whole life, uh, a term policy, you can have, there are certain carriers out there for little 
maybe a few dollars more a month than a policy that doesn't have living benefits. So I think it's important that you take a look at that. To have a life insurance policy that you don't have to die to use, I think is powerful. Uh, and, and I've had cases where I've had clients utilize that type of policy that has living benefits. Uh, of course, it helps you pay less in taxes. Uh, listen, we know taxes are a fact of life. I pay more taxes than I, I think I pay your fair share of taxes and your fair share of taxes. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, and most of us, listen, we don't want to pay any more taxes. I don't know what we have to. So life insurance does offer tax benefits in both term and whole. Uh, four minutes left. Oh, my goodness. Time flies by so fast. Where does the time uh, term and permanent policies will typically uh, provide you beneficiaries with a tax-free death benefit when you die. And number six, protect your business. Yes, if you're a business owner, uh, you have a lot to protect. Uh, your business, your employees, your family. Uh, there are policies out there like key man insurance, which is essential. If one of your partners or your employee, a key employee dies uh, or becomes disabled, uh, there needs to be as little impact to your business as possible. Uh, and maybe you might want to use life insurance as a resource, as a tool uh, to attract and retain uh, top talent. Now, you can do that as well. Uh, in business continuation insurance. So, I mean, there's so many things that you can do with life insurance. How much life insurance should you have? It really depends on each person's situation, of course, your budget. Uh, but think about your mortgage, what you have for your mortgage, college fees. Um, some people say the easiest way to, to figure out your life insurance is to utilize 10 or 20 times your annual salary. Uh, some use the dime formula, D for debt and final expenses. You add that in. Income, decide for how many years your family would need support. Multiply your annual income by that number. Uh, M, mortgage, calculate the amount you need to pay off your mortgage. And E, education, estimate the cost of sending your kids to school and college. So uh, that's life insurance. I mean, there's so we could spend 10 segments on life insurance alone. There's so much to, uh, to know about life insurance, but the very first thing you should do is pick up the phone and call Owen Insurance Group to get a free quote. Doesn't cost you anything. Uh, and you'll be surprised about how affordable that it truly is. And I had a client that was uh, living in Port St. Lucie. He owned a small business, uh, a lawn maintenance company. And I was after him for several years to get life insurance. Uh, he was married, has two children. And uh, I remember uh, several years ago on Father's Day, after coming home from mm -hmm. church, he went into the shower and had a massive heart attack. His wife found him dead in the shower. And thank God, this has happened four years after we got life insurance for him. And thank God we were able uh, to help her file the claim and the family was able to sustain life. Uh, the child was able to go to college or have money for college. Uh, she was able to maintain the business because they had all that money tax-free to support them. So he had the foresight uh, and the wisdom to take care of his family. So, and so should you. So uh, make sure you, you think about it. If you don't have life insurance, give us a call, 772-210-1020. Or if you have life insurance, you might want to review. Maybe you had a policy you took out 10, 20 years ago. I uh, might want a review of that and, and get an updated quote uh, for a life insurance policy that will protect you through all years of your life. So I think it's important. And Tom, one more time, give them the number. 772-210-1020. And Tracy Volta, it was great to have you with us this morning from Uni First. Uh, and then if you need to get a hold of her, uh, call her at 772-631-1858. Thank you, gentlemen. All right. Thank you very much. Next week, a uh, special guest on our show, Tom, is going to be Jonathan and Jonathan Joseph and Petra, right? Yes. All right. Very and wonderful, unique it's going to be fun. Yeah, uh, of course, beautiful. I mean, we always have fun. So we're going to have fun next week. So make sure you join us. And Tom will, and I will continue talking about insurance planning solutions. We thank you for joining us on this chilly Tuesday morning. Stay safe. Keep healthy. Be happy. And more importantly, enjoy your quality of life.